Hi everyone. Today we're going to be covering integers and their opposites. Um, I'm going to start by saying if you'd like to pause the video and go ahead and try to find the opposite of these three numbers here on the right, go ahead. Um, if you're here just for the explanation, that's fine too. So the opposite of a number is just the same distance from zero but on the other side of zero. So what does that mean? Because that sounds a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Well, 2 is right here, right? The opposite of 2 is 2 units from 0, but on the other side of 0. So I'd say, OK, 1, 2. So on the other side of 0, I'm going to go 1, 2. And the opposite of 2 is negative 2. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's that's pretty obvious, right? And it is kind of an obvious thing. A lot of us could probably put those um, that together, or you might even be able to figure that out without much of an explanation. So um, let's go down to zero here. What is the opposite of zero? Uh, zero is actually its own opposite because it's neither positive nor negative. Um, there's no way to go to either side to find the other um, version of zero per se. So zero is its own opposite. So what is the opposite of zero? Just zero. So it really doesn't have much of an opposite or anything different. Then our last one here, negative 4. I'll switch colors for this one. Negative 4 is down here. So what number is the same distance from 0 but on the other side? So negative 4, a good way to think of it is, OK, well, 4 is 4 units from 0. So I'm going to go to the other side now and go, OK. Well, if I keep going down here, 4 units from 0 is positive 4. So the opposite of negative 4 is 4. And this seems like a pretty basic concept now, but being able to explain that is really important. And it definitely comes in handy uh, later on as you get deeper into negative numbers. So it's important to know the opposite of a number is the same units from 0 on the other side of 0. Okay, and we, we describe that distance saying, the same number of units. We call this this a unit right here. These are units just from one whole number to the next. So from one to two, that is one whole unit, right? From one integer to the next. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Um, I hope this helped. Um, feel free to leave any comments below.